to you why that communication in the next few minutes. Um, so why that communication already, the name says, we do laser communication. Uh, we do laser communication currently, we do that for stratospheric platforms, so interconnecting platforms uh, in the stratosphere highway communication. And we are currently moving that to, to space and to new constellations. So what we currently see uh, on the market, we see an evolving uh, business for new constellations and I've put a couple of names over here, um, we've heard some of them today speaking here uh, in the communication part and also on uh, Earth observation um, systems constellations. And the, the, the common part of all these constellations is that you need co uh, communication, so high rate communication is a key technology to make these constellations work and that is for inter-satellite links, so between the satellites, but also for satellite to, to ground communication. And we as Wildlife, we bring the solution there, so we bring laser communication, laser communication for high-rate communication, extremely high-rate communication. <coughs> we do that currently for the stratosphere, as I said, so it's existing technology, and we're currently moving that to, to new constellations. Okay, so here on the next slide, so here on the, on the picture here on the right side, Offsite, so we're working at the moment. So we have the stratospheric constellations, so that could be airship platforms, air, aircraft platforms, the balloon platforms. These are our customers, they, they're building large constellations, so we're talking about hundreds of these platforms, and we interconnect these uh, constellations, these platforms, with laser communication, with our systems to have a backbone system between these platforms. We're talking about high rate communication, I've written here 10 gigabit per second. So this is, let's say, a, fa a factor 100, 100 more than what you can do with RF communication, with radio communication, classical radio communication. And also the good part of here is it's not ITU regulated. So this, uh, there's no complicated uh, matching of frequencies. So that this is a good part of, of laser communication. Important for these kind of constellations for the stratosphere, also for, for the satellites, near satellites, it's, it's low weight. So I put here as an example weighing 10 kilograms, so that's the typical weight we have for our stratospheric platforms with 5 kilograms at the moment. <coughs> and uh, also important is of course a uh, competitive price. Uh, I've put here a number, 2 million euros per, per terminal for a linear constellation. That depends of course on the requirements of, of the satellite and uh, how reliable it has to be, what kind of constellations, what kind of number of systems you have. So we're moving that from the stratosphere to the satellite to, to, to also the satellite mix. So what I have here is we have an existing technology which we have in the stratosphere, so it's an operational uh, technology, it's working in the stratosphere, so a vacuum with all the temperature conditions down to minus 70 degrees, it's a qualified technology. And we think this is ideal technology also to bring that to a new constellation, especially small satellite uh, systems like microsatellites um, to interconnect or have communication like a gigabit per second or 10 gigabits per second on these satellites as well. So here in the last slide, very quickly, this is one of our products, we have a D70 inter-platform link terminal. What you see here, the purple part in the middle is the so-called corresponding unit. So this system, I mean this is a mirror system to, to steer the beam to the counter terminal to the other platform, flight platform. Um, you know the laser beams are very narrow, so the pointing part is, is an important part of laser communication. That's what you see here. 